Yeah, left flush. Ah. Strike it on the HQ. Had a boy sploosh. Man, sploosh is just dominating though. 46 and 0. That yeah, scorpion is really weird. good. Late bars. I'm not going to. Oh, let's use it. Hold it. Sploosh going ahead. Yep. What's up, everybody? It is Sploosh here, bringing you some more Call of Duty Black Ops 2. This is not solo gameplay. This is actually me playing yesterday with Wings of Redemption. We probably played something like 11 games, and I think what you're seeing here is clips from roughly six of them. It's not quite a montage, maybe it would be called a daytage, and it'll definitely be a bit of a guntage. And the reason I say that is we're here to talk about the MK48, which I believe to be one of the top guns in the game, if not the top gun of the game. It's not quite as versatile as an SMG in some circumstances where you need speed to get to points. If you're playing something like Capture the Flag, you'd really have to do some work on people to run around with a flag with this thing. But for the most part, this gun serves a purpose. I do sort of categorize my guns based on their purpose and map usage. Before I get into that, let's talk about stats. I'm not going to produce some kind of spreadsheet for you, even though I can talk about stats briefly. This is just my stats using the guns. And that's what I trust the most. You can pause at each gun, but you'll probably notice a substantial KD increase for my light machine guns. And that's no uh, accident. You don't have to trust me, but I do think the MK48 is above and beyond the other LMGs. And luckily you do unlock it immediately at level 7, so no issues with unlocking or using a prestige token, which is kind of nice. Go ahead and try other guns. I'm not going to even bother ranking them because I think it's pointless. I'm just going to continue to use the MK48, which I believe is like Mark 48. So uh, I'm a bit under the weather. If you hear me coughing or something, I'm sorry, but I really wanted to bring this video out. It's actually been on my mind for the past almost month now. Unfortunately, as you know, my PVR died, so I had to get a replacement, and I am loving the Elgato. It's great. Anyone that is interested in making YouTube videos should get an Elgato. So, partying up with Wings of Redemption, do stay to the end. I have some cool little clips, sort of behind the scenes and conversations that are fun. But let's see. Statistically, I'll just say that the uh, Mark 48 reminds me a lot of the ACR from Modern Warfare 3. And I'll be honest with you, I hoard the crap out of the ACR in Modern Warfare 3. So I've always been on this quest to find that kind of gun. And I'm not going to say that that I've sort of replaced the AN-94. I still use the AN-94 for silenced weapon. I think it fits that role pretty well. And I don't like to silence my SMGs too much. But the, uh, what, the what this Mark 48 does is it produces this massive kill zone. I mean it's basically infinite distance. And I'll show at the end me using the target finder on it. I know that's a little bit taboo. But this is definitely my target finder gun of choice as well. The secret to making this gun work, because this video is running uh, short, is that you're going to want to use the triple attachments. You're going to need the stock. If there's no other attachment you put on this gun, the stock is the entire point. I'm sure you've noticed by now, when I move I move ADS and that allows me to take corners and be aggressive. Otherwise the LMG is meant for just sort of sitting still, which is kind of garbage. And also, you know, when you're using a stock, it allows you to sort of shoot and then take cover. Also, the stock counteracts the biggest weakness of the LMG, which is how long it takes to ADS. Next though, I use Quick Draw. Quick Draw doesn't quite make this gun the same as an assault rifle, but it's darn close and it's really necessary. And lastly, I use uh, either a red dot or the target finder. I have a class for each. The reason is because the iron sights, I believe, are purposely horrible on LMGs to balance them. I think they want you to use an attachment like this because they know that you don't need extended mags and all that garbage. So this video is coming to an end. I hope you guys will experiment, post your thoughts and what you think is the best gun, and enjoy these last clips. Oh, and this is me getting my nuclear. I'm, I did get it with the gun, but I ran out of bullets at the end. 
Ah, oh, I died on 23. See if we can all get nuclear, see if we can all get it. Uh, I died on 23. Unlucky, unlucky. Oh, that's a good question. If YouTubers were gods of something, they might. That'd be good. That'd be a good question. Game Master, the god finder. of bad players. <laughs> Wings, the god of... Target finder. How? <laughs> <laughs> I even got my target finder uh, call he tag on. everything. <laughs> Of the, uh, it reminds me of the Hamas and Black Ops 1 handle wise, like you've got a oh, burst yeah. fire. A little bit. It's not as good though. <laughs> yeah, not as good as oh, yeah. still like. Friendly K9 unit. Hamas was my gun back in Black Ops. I had like 14,000. Oh, I fucking jumped off. Holy 